Previously on Shenmue 2. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The saga continues. You know, I think I realize why Ryo feels that he needs to make this $500 and, and not just beat up those guys. It's because Ryo was raised to be a virtuous heroic martial artist to use his skills and his powers for good not evil uh, let's start from here and previously every time he's gotten into a fight it's because he was attacked first so that he invoked self-defense and you know after he finished beating the people up if he felt that maybe he could then you know twist somebody's arm or maybe pick someone up by the throat in order to extract some information, well, hey, it's all just self-defense. They started it after all. But the thing is, he has to be defending himself first before he can justify that to himself. Now, Cool Z and his friends, they did not attack Ryo. They did not threaten him. They just sat there and said, pay us $500. And since Ryo could not justify self-defense to himself, he had nothing to do. He couldn't beat them up. It's like they, they had to attack him first, and then once they did that, he would then feel free to do anything he wanted to them. But if they didn't start it, Ryo's helpless. And so he agrees to pay them $500, even though they stole more than $500 from Ryo back at the beginning of the game. So in this way, Cool Z and his friends figured out how to defeat how to defeat Ryo Hazaki. They they are the best fighters in this game. They defeated the martial artist who no one's beating. Well, Landi defeated Ryo, of course. But Cool Z and his friends were able to beat him with words. With words. Now, let's beat up this hairy man. Let's make some money that way. I was looking at my moves to see what should I use against the hairy man. One, uh, what move I'm going to use is, let's see, this one, oblique air kick. It's a simple one, L and A at the same time. It's one of the more powerful single hit moves I have, and it does a pretty good job against the big man right here, the man with a body as hard as a rock. Yan Ren was found yep. in the mountains of He's a wild man. He's the last wild man. I practiced this a little bit. So, every time we beat him, he goes up a level, and he gets a bit tougher. Eventually, he's going to get too tough for our oblique kick to defeat. But we should be able to go up a few levels before that happens. Want to challenge this man? I will challenge... He won't fight back. No, I know. I will challenge. As hard as you want. I'll do it. Five tries. I know. If he feels pain even once, you win. I'll I'll do it. If you win, you get forty dollars. Yeah, so it goes up by ten dollars each time, but it maxes out at fifty. Unfortunately. Is there anyone strong enough to challenge this man? Sure. I'll do it. I wish that it just kept going up didn't stop at 50 because it would make it a lot easier to make money if it just kept going anywhere all right ready go uh, oblique kick no that's not what I wanted there that's what I wanted so that does that's a lot more powerful than the elbow that I was giving him last time hey are you all right brother? You definitely hurt him. Here. Mm-hmm. And I guess I'm just going to be hurting him over and over. Just kicking him as hard as I can in the jaw. My foot coming up, meeting his jaw, demolishing his teeth. I'll do it. You look strong enough. So I hope he feels that this is worth it. You can start hitting him anywhere. Ready? Go! No? Gotta get that gotta get it right. There. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're on level five right now. Should be able to go up a few levels before this stops being effective. Are you alright, brother? You definitely hurt him. 
Here. You would think, though, that Ryo would probably be banned from participating in this if he was able to just constantly knock the guy down over and over and over and over. Because eventually, the guy's going to get hurt. If he feels pain the thing I'm really hoping is if you... I'm hoping there's a maximum level. And I hope that if, you able, if you're able to beat him at that maximum level, then the hairy man will just say, All right, I've had enough. Uh, let's just drop the act. Um, I'm, I'm in actually in quite a bit of pain. Are you all right, brother? You definitely heard him. Here. So that gives me 425. Let's... Well, it's another day, right? So why don't we head off to the pier? Let's, uh, this way. Let's get with our buddy Doolin for some more exciting crate moving. I mean, it's, it's really the only person that we're helping out in this game so far has been helping out on the job at the pier. Well, I guess we did help the kung fu old lady at the apartments. So we did help her out. It's true. Aside from that, We've just been walking around, talking to people, getting into fights, skipping out on our bill at the come-over guest house. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go to Wanzai. I do want to go back to the pier. It's a very flexible job. You can just come by anytime you want. It doesn't matter what time it is, really. And you can just, you know, carry some crates around with Du Lin, who apparently, I guess, is just working that job 24 hours a day. I guess he's just always there. He's always ready to carry some crates. He just needs someone to help him out. Won't someone come by and carry some crates with him? Because he can't do it alone. Hello, security guard. And you're not, you're not really guarding anything. Doolin waits around all day wondering, is someone going to be coming by soon to carry crates with me? It's the only thing he likes to do. So let's stop by... Oh, is that him there? Yeah, it is. Doolin. Hey, what's up? I'm looking for the heavens. How do I get to Beverly Hills Wharf? We know this, Rio. Hills Wharf. It's right before Queen Street. Ask someone at the park. All right, thanks. We don't need to ask anyone at the park. What we do need to ask about, we need to ask the boss if there are any crates to be moved, and I think we know the answer is going to be yes. Are we getting along with Joy? Oh, it's you. You're looking well. Oh, sure, I guess. Are you getting along with Joy? Of course not. No, I'm not. Um... Don't let her push you around! I need help right now. Do you have time to work for me right now? Yep, we sure do. Alright. Let's get started. Sure. 
We know how it goes. Let's pick up these crates, move them from one pallet to another pallet a few yards away. I still don't know why we do this. Good to see you again. But if they're going to pay us to do it. I mean, I guess we're not going to say no. Carry it over there. Yeah, I know. Here. I guess that's the end. All right, that's it for today. Everyone can go home. I wonder if there's anything particular that we would get if yeah. I was able to do all of the crates. You did a good job. I mean, aside from the money. Come again. Here's what you earned. Six crates, so I'll pay you sixty dollars. Thanks. Four hundred eighty-five. Almost there. We almost have that $500. It's not quite, though. Almost there. There's different music playing. I haven't heard this music before. Do that. Oh, real! I was waiting for you! For me. I heard that you're fighting Ren. I went to get some information from him. I'd like to help, but they might come after me if I do that. So I thought I'd at least teach you a move. Teach me a move? Yeah, it's my best move. It's called Brawling Uppercut. Br brawling Uppercut? Give Ren a good blow with this. I'd really feel good if you did. Do you want to learn this move? Yeah. Y yes, please. You're a good sport. First, I'll show you how to move your body. First, casually step back. Then concentrate your strength in your hips and strike! Now try it! I don't think. Just the way you saw it! Alright, so basically a standing Shoryuken. Uh, so we casually step back. Casually step back. Good! That's the move! Next, thrust your fist as you step back twice. Step back twice. And thrust the fist, so step back twice and punch. No! The punch is way too early. Same time as you step back. It'll be more powerful. All right. All right. There it is. That's it! You got it quite quickly! Your coaching was good. Really? Well, I thought so. You gather strength and thrust an uppercut. If you connect, it'll give Ren a good blow. Do you want to practice more? Yeah, let me try that again. I'll practice some more. I'll watch you. Show me the move. All right, so there it is. That's pretty easy. With this, we are going to give Ren such a great blow. I think you had enough. Do you want to continue? No, I think I got it. Yes. Let's stop here. Pretty good. All you need now is courage. Thank you very much. Don't let Ren beat you up! Well, we'll try, but 
I don't know if Ryo... Ryo hasn't had the best uh, track record of not getting beat up since coming to Hong Kong. Is there a reason to not learn moves? Because it was also the case in Shenmue 1 that you could turn down learning moves, and there never seemed to be a reason to do that. I don't know if there is, but... We do have a new move. Let's take a look at it on the move scroll. It was this, the brawling uppercut, back, back, X, and it's on fire for some reason? I don't know why. Uh, power is high, speed is low, rigid is rigid. I wonder how this would do on the big hairy man. Well, could we don't have 500 yet, but I don't want to risk losing $50 to the hairy man. I can think of maybe, maybe a a way to get that extra money that might be a bit safer. There's Joy. There's Joy. Joy's right there. Hey, Joy, what are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Joy. Let's talk to Joy. What are you doing here? Does it matter to you? And just being friendly. Oh, I guess not. Dio, I wanted to ask you. Yeah? You know Uncle Chen in Yokosuka, right? Yeah. Then, do you know Guizan? Guizan. Yes, of course. Really? How is he doing? <laughs> His leg is all busted. Are you close to Guizan? Yeah, he's blunt, just like you. But he's a nice person. True. Whenever Guizan comes to Hong Kong, he tells me all about Japan. Really? Guizan visited Hong Kong? Hey, when's he coming to Hong Kong? Do you know? He was supposed to be here with me right now. Guizan probably can't make it to Hong Kong for a while. What do you mean? He got injured, saving me. Injured? To save you? What happened? Joy. It has something to do with Yuanda Zoo, right? I... I followed a man to Hong Kong. Yuanda Zoo knows about this man. Guizan was supposed to come to Hong Kong with me. But right before boarding the ship, he was attacked by one of the man's associates. Who is this man? You don't need to know. It's better for you to stay out of this. No way! Guizan is my friend! I have to know who this guy is. He's the reason why my friend is hurt. Joy, listen to me. What? I can't tell you much. But the man I'm after is very dangerous. Yo! I don't want anyone else to get involved. I can't endanger you like I did with Guizan. Please understand. But I could be of some help. When the time comes, I'll ask for your help. Really? Yeah. For sure? Yes. Well, I mean, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but if you're really interested in uh, knowing who the guy is who injured Guizang, just look around. Uh, you might see like a bald man who's kind of hunched over and keeps uh, talking about Andy <laughs> Sama. He talks like that, and he's pretty distinctive, honestly. But I knocked him off of the boat that was coming here to Hong Kong, so hopefully he drowned. But you might see him around, I'm not sure. Anyway. It's, can't run through there. Let's turn around here. What's going on down there? Can I get in there? Just some people talking. I don't know if that's anything special, but... It doesn't seem like I can. That's kind of weird. Just like three people standing there. Seems like I can't get into that area. So Guizang, if, if if you don't remember Shenmue 1, Guizang is the guy in the suit uh, who fought along with Ryo in the 70-man battle. And at the end of the game, he was meant to travel with Ryo to Hong Kong, but we were attacked by Chai, it was what his name was. And um, he dropped a girder on, on Guizang's leg. So, Guizang is kind of out of commission for a bit. But, uh... Let's see, where did I want to go? But, they said that once he healed up, that he would be coming to Hong Kong. It's just that, you know, he's not able to do it yet. Um, hold on, I'm trying to think about where it is I wanted to go. Okay, so, that's the entrance to the pier. 
Uh, I don't need to go in there because I'm leaving. Okay, what I wanted to do was do a little bit of arm wrestling to get the remaining amount of money I need. Maybe not against Jimenez, because after last time, I'm not confident in my ability to beat him at the level that he's at. But what I do remember is that there was another arm wrestling place around here. And I have not I have not fought this guy yet, so I'm hoping he's going to be easier. Let's see how much it costs to, to arm wrestle. Come over here! Want to try arm wrestling? How much? He'll be your opponent! Each bet costs $20. Alright, that's not much. Jimenez is, I think, at $50 at this point, so he should be easier, I think. Maybe I'll try it. Alright! Where are you from? From Japan. Oh yeah? What's your name? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Okay, let's get started! So if I lose $20, that's not too bad. But if I win, then I get I get the money that I need. It'll break $500. Ryo Hazuki! Again? Hong Kong's rugby player of the World Cup games! The strongest of the quarterbacks, Gustin Heimer! I'm taking you down, Gustin. Here we go, kid. I won't go easy on you, kid. Didn't ask. What did you say? I'll say fight and then you begin. Here we go. Ready in? Huh. Oh, that's right, Gustin. Before you start. Gonna weaken that arm. That probably does not actually weaken the arm. Ready in? Fight! Uh, no, tap the A button. Tap the A button. Get it over. QTEs, that's right. Get it down. Get it down. Why did that QTE go the other way? It doesn't matter because we won. Good. You are strong. Take your prize. Another match? This time for $30. No, not right now. Serious when the bet gets raised. I could still probably win at this point, but we need this money for something. No, I guess not. Oh well, come back again if you like. Anytime. Well, we have it. We have the $500. What, what went in my notebook? I guess another arm wrestling location, probably. All right. We have what we need. Now it's time to go back to the Beverly Hills Wharf and confront Coolzy and his friends. We're gonna give him our hard-earned money that we earned from beating up a hairy man over and over and over and over. The money that we earned from carrying crates and the money that we earned from arm wrestling. We shouldn't be giving them the money. It's not theirs. Go through. Really, we should if we're if they need five hundred dollars, we should just be removing the five hundred dollars from the debt they owe us from stealing the money back at the beginning of the game. But I know that I keep mentioning that, and clearly the game doesn't care about that. Ryo does not care. He is not going to mention it. Okay, fine. Fine, he's not going to mention it. Fine. The reason that the $500 amount is needed is to give the player a reason to participate in the money-making activities in Hong Kong, such as beating up a hairy man, such as gambling, such as carrying crates... I guess I did learn that move from Dulin since we were carrying crates, and that's a good thing, you know? That's something good that happened because of what we're doing here. So fine, we have to do it. Okay, we're here. You know, I wish that we could... I wish that we could transfer our $500 into coins and then pay these guys just by flicking the coins in their faces one by one. You want your $500? Here's, here it is. And here's another. And here's another. We can't do that, though. We have to do this. I've got $500 ready. Hand the money over. I'll give it to him in person. 
Well, all right. Follow me. Sam, Mary, we're leaving. Are you the one who wants to make a donation? On one condition. I want to know where Young Dao Zhu is. Oh, easy. No problem. May the gods be with you. Oh, all right, you win. I'll take you to Yana Zoo. That better be true. Go here. This place. Fortune's Pier. All right, we got a crudely drawn map from Ren. I guess let's head back to Fortune's Pier. I guess that's where Yonda Zoo is hiding out. Even though he's supposed to be a, a rich, successful businessman, I guess he's just hiding out somewhere on the pier. Must hurry to Fortune's Pier. All right, let's run over to the pier. I guess Ren was just hanging out in the back of the scrapyard the whole time. We didn't even have to, didn't have to pay them the money. We could have just walked into that door. And you know, if we tried to walk into the door uh, on ourselves, then surely the other guys would have attacked us, and that would have given Ryo the, um, that would have allowed him to start self-defense. And like I said, once self-defense is started, Ryo just feels free to do it, just do whatever he wants. We should have just tried to do it like that. Anyway, let's just forget about that. $500 is done. It's spent. It's over. Don't need to keep thinking about it. What we do need to think about is this. All right, Fortune's Pier. There's like a little car or forklift, maybe. I don't know if it's a forklift. But what I do know is that we're going to go to Fortune's Pier. We're going to find what's on that map. And we're going to see if Yuanda Zoo is actually hiding out there. I was actually surprised that I did that QTE there where Ren cut slashed us with the knife. I guess I was I guess I've been benefiting from all this kung fu training that Ryo has been given. Just like we caught the just like we caught the red leaves. We must be one with our environment. We must be at peace within ourselves. So just like we caught the red leaf, we caught the blade out of the air. Snatched it. Fortune's Pier, just around here, and then we'll try to figure out what this map is telling us. Alright, so... Should we go into Fortune's Pier, 
Or is it saying that we should, like, go around to here? And that just looks like an arm wrestling place over there. It is. Can't go in that door. Let's see. Just trying to work out what it is the map is saying. Is like, are we going into Fortune's Pier or are, is that is the area next to Fortune's Pier? Well, let's see. Let's go inside. Because if we're going into Fortune's Pier, I guess we'll go straight, then right, and then turn to the right. So make the first right. Which is here. And then go down to here. Oh, there's this truck. Okay, so this is where it is. It's about time you came. Where is Young Da Zoo? Eh. Follow me. It's all here. She's Ren. What's going on? Quick, turn on the lights. Hey, the money's gone. before where's the money i don't know i just want to see young da zoo ha, you're lying but you won't be for long get him guys weird that we couldn't trust ren i for one am shocked Whoops. Didn't need to do that. I would like to use my brawling uppercut, but it is a slow move, so I can't get it out right now. Oh, see, I was almost doing it, but he blocked me. Or rather, he countered me. Oh, actually, I'm almost out of health. Yep, I am totally out of health.
Damn. Yo! Juan. I'll untie you. Uh, thanks. Did you see Ren? I saw him heading toward the park. Damn. Don't tell Ren that I saved you. I won't. Well, we got beat up again. It's been happening a lot to us. But the more important thing is that Ren welched on his agreement. He was supposed to t take us to Yunda Zoo, and he has not done this. In fact, he just left us for dead. And we're really lucky that uh, those two did not actually kill us. He just left us tied up. So, Ren still owes us for the, the transaction that we made. Because we paid him $500, and he did not show us where Yonazu is. He just used us to steal more money. Technically, part of that money belongs to us. Since he used us to get to it. Alright, let's see if we can see- oh, okay, cutscene. That kid must be beaten up pretty bad by now. Sure thing. <laughs> Here. That's him. Come on. <laughs> go. There you go. Want to go for more? Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to keep your promise. Where's young Da Zhu? <laughs> You're so damn persistent. Uh, I could tell you. If you want to know, catch us first. Wait! Uh, nothing's ever easy for Ryo. Everything always has to be done the hard way. Hmm. wonder if I should have gone after the guy who was closest to me. Instead, I went after Ren, who broke to the right instead. Music is still going, though. Did you see anyone run by here? How can I help you? Um. Have you seen Ren? I don't know. I'm sorry. I see. Have you seen Ren? How can I help you? Have you seen a Cool Z? Have you seen Cool Z? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a guy with a boombox. He's wearing sunglasses. Who is that? Someone in the neighborhood might be able to tell you something, I suppose. I see. I'll try. I'll try asking. Thanks. Thank. Yes. Thank you for the advice. Excuse me. Can I help you? Have you seen Ren? You're putting me in trouble. I see. What about what about you? Have you seen um, Ren? Huh? Can I ask you something? Hey, you can't get things for free. But I'll talk to you if you play Lucky Hit first. I don't do I have time to play Lucky Hit first? Uh, Poison Brothers, you know who I want. Hey, 
Yeah? What is it? Hey. Have you seen Ren around here? No, I haven't seen him. Neither have I. Okay, I got it. Hey. Well. Oh, <laughs> hey there. How you doing? Hey. What about Cool Z? Have you seen Cool Z around here? No, I haven't seen him. Neither have I. Okay, I got it. Hey. What about Sam? Have you seen Sam around here? No, I haven't seen him. Neither have I. Okay, I got it. Uh, hey. What about Larry? How about him? Have you seen Larry around here? No, I haven't seen him. Neither have I. Okay, I got it. Well, it doesn't seem like anyone is, uh... It doesn't seem like anyone's patronizing this uh, establishment at the moment. How about you? Have you seen the street gang? Yes, can I help you? Have you seen Ren of Heavens? I saw him running that way at top speed. Oh, thank you. Oh, really? Finally, someone telling me <laughs> where to go. What a weird segment. Damn, what a pain. Rin, wait. Uh. Take this. Whoa. It's not funny. My training carrying those books paying off. Ren! Take a look! Great view! <laughs> well, time to say goodbye! Hmm? <laughs> I'll race you anytime! <laughs> Damn! Failed the final QTE. Okay, so I'm, I'm repeating it. Okay, okay. Wait! I was wondering if I was going to have to ask people again where Ren went. Ren! Take a look! Great view! <laughs> well, time to say goodbye! Huh. Wait! Like you're still alive. Yeah. <sighs> there must be some story behind that. What do you want with Yana Zu? Zu knows about the man who killed my father. <laughs> A kid seeking revenge. Too young for that. What does a petty thief know about revenge? <laughs> you talk like a grown man. But I smell money involved in this. What? I'll tell you where Zoo is. He's in Kowloon. Kowloon? Hey, I kept my promise. Now I want a hand in the pot. What? <laughs> I'll be in Kowloon. You can come by later.
I, I think we just completed a section of the game. He says to come to Kowloon, which means we're going to be leaving. Yo, did you find Ren? Yeah. Uh, and what happened? I have to leave Hong Kong. Huh? Are you going back to Japan? No. I have to go somewhere. Where? It has nothing to do with you. That again? Yeah, we're leaving Hong Kong. Gonna take off for Kowloon. It's almost time to leave Hong Kong. Make sure Ryo bids farewell to the people that he has met. As soon as Ryo says goodbye to Zhu Ying, he will leave for Kowloon. Okay. Already? Yeah. Before leaving Hong Kong, I want to say thanks to the people I met here. Really? And you're the first. Mm -hmm. You were a lot of help. Uh, not really. Thank you. you. You don't have to thank me, but... Hmm. I don't know where you're going, but please be careful, yo. Yeah, you take care too. All right, time to walk around and say goodbye to all the friends that we made. Well, maybe not friends, but you know, acquaintances. <laughs> People we spoke to once or twice. We'll at least say goodbye to Joy and, and Fang Mei. Um, we never did fight Eileen. It would be nice if we got to fight her, but we did not. I guess we'll be saying goodbye to all these people. Yeah! You'll never meet any woman the likes of her.